I want to address something and pray about it right now. I read Dutch Sheet's book years ago, Intercessory Prayer. I love the book. It's like a textbook. And one of the things he talked about that in there was praying uh, for people and asking the Holy Spirit to come and hover over them. And in his illustration in the book, he used it as a tool to pray over people, young people, especially children and young people who are in rebellion and have strayed away from the Lord. And so I have used that um, as a tool to pray for just that very thing. And um, we've seen incredible answers in doing that. Um, I had one father come to me one Sunday and say, you know, my daughter is just, she's straying away from the Lord and I don't know what to do. I, you know, I just, can you pray with me? And so I said, you know, we're going to try something. We're going to experiment with this because I just um, read the book. And so <clears throat> I said, let's release the Holy Spirit to hover over your daughter. And that word hovering, um, if you'll do a study on Genesis, the first chapter, when the Holy Spirit brooded over the face of the earth, it's that hovering, it's that creativeness that um, allowed things to be spoken into existence. And so we prayed that and we released that over her, his daughter. Well, the next week he came to me, a week or two, he came to me and he said, um, You're, this is what happened. She called me at the end of the week and she said, Dad, how have you been praying for me? It says, it, it's felt like God has been with me just walking right next to me all week. And so he came and told me and went, ooh, it works good. <laughs> so I was just in Abilene, Texas at a, doing a women's conference and I, thought, I felt like I was supposed to do the same thing that we're going to do this morning. And so I had everyone stand that had a young person child that was in rebellion, straying from the Lord, and we prayed this prayer. We re released it over them. And the next uh, morning, uh, the next day, I had two women come to me, and uh, one of them said their son called, her, my son called me last night and said, Mom, I don't know what's going on, but I've been having nightmares for three days, the length of the conference. So, you know, sometimes God uses things that we may not think are, are right and appropriate, but God was using those dreams to stir something up in this young man to have him call his mom to get ministry. And so there's this opening door for this, this young man. And uh, two other gals came to me and said, when you had us stand up and we prayed, we joined together for not a daughter, but a young person that we knew that was, had very severe mental problems. And we prayed for her. And we asked the Holy Spirit to hover over her. That night when we went to the restaurant to eat after the meeting, she called us on the phone. And she was in a suicidal state. And we were able to talk to her over the phone and lead her to the Lord. She was not even saved. And I went, yeah. Isn't that awesome? So what I, want, I, what I want us to do right now is those of you who have children who are, have strayed away from the Lord are in rebellion, I want you to stand. Because here we go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, Holy Spirit, I just ask that you would come right now. And I ask that you would hover, <laughs> that you would hover over these children. That you would bring them close to you. I even release an angelic visitations to them. The creativeness of God to bring them to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We just release that in Jesus' name, and we speak a good word over them. We pray for a turning in the name of Jesus. A turning in the name of Jesus. And we as parents release our children once again to you. We will not hang on to them. We cannot hold on to them. We must trust you, and so we trust you, Holy Spirit. Amen.
All right, so be it. So be it.